Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to use Apex Log Filter plugins or we can say that NPM package inside VS Code. It is very useful to filter your Apex Log using this kind of, you know, modules. So if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of updates from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. Just you have to go to the this website. So this is the website npmjs.com packages and apex log filter. So before that you this is the prerequisite. You have to install this package inside your VS code. So let me open my VS code here. And if you don't know about it, how to install it, just you have to press control tilt mark in the window. Now you have to click on this terminal and if you want to see this one so you can see here right so this is my terminal and how to install it very simple just you have to copy and paste that particular lines here you can see the copy copy symbols so just you have to copy it and immediately you can see the copy clipboard something like that so you have to copy it from this website install into the your you know vs code i already install it so you have to install it first of all this is the prerequisite that's why so how to use that inside this VS code. So very useful, very handy, you know, like module inside this VS code to debugging this Apex log filter. So if you want to run this Apex class, so I already created one Apex class here. So this is a very simple class like demo class. I'm retrieving some accounts name based on the name. So now you can see this one, right? It's a very simple class. So how to execute this class? So we can execute this class using Anonymous window. So this is my Anonymous Apex inside my VS code. How to execute? So here you can see my class name and this is the static method. So we can call a static method with the help of class name. So this is my class name. Just click on this one and uh, let me show you my method inside this class. So under this class, I have this method and just use it here and I need to pass the name here let's say Rohit 1 and semicolon and now immediately you can see one icon here or one link that is called execute so just click on this execute now immediately you will be see the output inside my you know like terminal so here just let me show you one thing just scroll up you can see lots of things here right like debug Rohit 1 and query and this is the output because of I already mentioned three debug log here you can see system dot debug that's why you can see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one that's why you can see my three debugs here right but here you can see this is a very long file and uh, you cannot understand easily here right so how to sort it and uh, I want to take my only I want to take my debug only things not uh, unwanted things so just you have to do one thing just you have to use this you know module inside VS code so how to use that let me open here this terminal here and just you have to type let's say this is the command so just let me copy this command log filter and suppose here you can see this is the whole process of this one so now you can see like execute anonymous code I already executed like this how to debug it so just you have to install this you know like module and after that you have to execute this command so now here you can see this command right so let me copy this command and let's see what happened so let me copy it and paste it inside my vs code here this one right so my apex code name here you can see this one like hello.apex right that's why i can use hello.apex so let me remove this word because i I want to use only this one hello.apex so let me execute and let's see and please observe previously you already seen like lots of outputs right like this one number of SQL debug everything but in this time you will be see only specific debug only specific debug for this code so let me enter it and let's see the output here so once you've done it like this you will be see only that kind of output not unwanted things so it's kind of like a, a run up x or it's not founding the you know like mm, path so always remember you have to give the path of this file so just let me copy this one and copy the relative path 
and paste it here. So just let me remove it here like this paste it here and you have to give the proper path like this. So let me try again it's working or not. So let me execute this command here and here is still error why because this is the uh, this is the not correct path so you have to give the path like this and let's see so once you give the, this one definitely you will be see some output and now you can see now immediately my output comes here please observe so please observe and this is the very most important here this is the output here right so here to here three system dot debug immediately you can see like name as a parameter query and this output right not whole things only specific things you can filter out here right but let me show you another things here let me execute the new command that is start from sf so, so let me ex write this command sf and after that you have to uh, use this one like apex run so S sf apex run and then give the path so my path name here you can see this script and change this path like this and after that you can add this pipe symbol apex hyphen log hyphen filter so you will be see only specific output not whole outputs so once you execute it now you will be see the output here so it's a very simple and uh, let's see the output here okay so it's showing like sf is not a uh, handle this command okay so let me check this one oh i forget the path here like after run you have to give like hyphen f and let me execute this command so once you execute this command you will be see the output here right now immediately you can see the output like this three lines and only specific three lines regarding this code right only system dot debug not whole right suppose in your uh, anonymous window you have some system dot debug also let's say system system dot debug like this okay and let me remove it and let's say uh, let me remove it here from here to here and let me add some this is like this is uh, let's say anonymous on this vlog something like that so once you saved it now again you have to execute this command very simple just execute this command and you will be see the output three uh, four outputs three from apex class and one from anonymous window so just please focus on that one these three comes from the apex class right here please observe these three comes from my apex class and uh, this one output come from my anonymous block so you can just filter out your you know system dot debug based on this module and this is a very useful if you want to use it you can use it otherwise you can fund this module okay guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching, guys.